Pro tip. Let's do a valve adjustment on the Briggs, the newer Briggs overhead valve. I call them these little modular motors. So I can definitely tell you it needs to be done because I, I briefly checked it. So right now I'm at top dead center. This is the longer rocker is your exhaust and the shorter rocker is your intake. Let's rotate it. So it's already fired. Okay, and now we're going to get rid of, we're opening the exhaust valve, we're going to get rid of the exhaust, the spent gases. Now we're going to start sucking in. All right, pulling the fresh charge in. Okay, so it's closing and we're starting to compress that charge. We're going to get ready to fire it. There's a little bump of the exhaust valve. See it? I'm just going to back up a little bit so you can see it. See it? That's just so you can get rid of some of the compression, just to make it a little easier to pull. Now we're coming up on the magnets. See it closed? Right about here, we're going to fire. So there's your TDC. So I like to do the, the 5 and 8 four and seven rule five on the intake and it's just sloppy as hell okay so that's way too loose so first I'm gonna try is just tightening it and see if there's any no there's not not enough movement there so we're gonna have to loosen it and then we're gonna have to walk it's a helicopter we're gonna have to turn in the center adjuster a little bit once we get it loose enough hold on we're going to loosen up the center adjuster all right so that we can turn in the outer now it's a star so i'm using an allen key it's not really the right thing i don't think i have a little star a little torx that small i might have to find it because once we get it loose it won't matter Think, all right, now we got it loose. So now what we can do, it's loose, so we're going to, it was way off, so we want to stick our feeler gauge in there. Since it was so far off, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the outer nut, the adjusted nut, until we get some, some drag. All right, now we're going to bring in the center piece, which is the stop, <clears throat> until it contacts. Which is just about doing that. I'm going to back it up a little bit, turn it a little bit more, and then we're going to pull them in together and test it. Depending upon how far out it is, it takes a little finagling. Yeah, she's still pretty. She's she's far out. Okay, so let's try tightening it a little bit. Nope, got to do it again. Okay, we got to find a way to bring that. We're going to loosen this up. I'm going to bring that adjuster out just enough. There we go. And now we'll pull it in. And try again. See, it's not quite where I want it to be. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Again, it depends on how far out you are. Yeah, now we're starting to... Yeah, that's feeling nice. Okay, so now... We want to try to hold the outer adjuster because we don't want to turn it in anymore. We want to make sure that the centerpiece has gone in. And then we'll bring them both in together and let's just give it a quick test. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little too tight. It's probably about four, but it feels nice. All right, I don't think it's a problem. Let's see if we can get it a little tighter. When you tighten it, going to change a little bit so you got to recheck some of them as you tighten them they get they, they get more clearance under the valve the rocker yeah that's pretty good it's got a good a little tight but it should it should work okay now we're good there so it's probably closer to four that's why I like five now we're going to go to eight on the exhaust and I like a tight you know, eight. Yep, it needs some work. Let's loosen it up a little bit. We're going to pull the center set screw out a little so we can turn everything in a little bit more. That's enough. Now bring them all together. 
Let's check it. It's getting there. All right, let's turn the set screw in a little bit. There we go. And we're going to pull the adjuster in to lock it. We're going to check it. Yeah, that's better. All right, they're good. Okay. That's it, guys. Overhead valve, Briggs. This is the small, cheaper engine. These are nice and tight. All right, and that's all that's to it. Uh, I have an 8 millimeter, and I'm using a small Allen key, but I don't know what, what uh, torques that is, but it's small. But you can get something in there. Some of them are for flats on them, and you can use a little pair of pliers or something. But that's all we need to do right now, and maybe we'll do a quick compression test and just to see what we got. Soon after. Oh, about 75 pounds. That's about what they get. That's not bad. Motor's not in bad shape. Much, much, much later. <laughs> 